We're leaving very early to go to Bora Bora. We're departing from the west coast of Taha, um, just outside the Taha Luxury Private Resort. Um, yeah, we've been stuck here in the rain for two days and we're going stir crazy. So we're leaving, hoping that Bora Bora will be better. Since we've been in Tahiti, we've been fortunate enough to catch a number of events of the Hava. The Hava is celebrated every July in Tahiti and has quite an interesting history. When the European Protestant missionaries arrived, they deemed the Tahitian dancing a little too erotic, so it was actually banned until Tahiti was annexed from France in 1881. After Tahiti was annexed from France, the Tahitians were allowed one day each year on Bastille Day to celebrate their traditional cultures. What's happened since then, it's grown to be quite a large festival, not just one day, but it's practiced for many, many months before and there's a lot of dancing, musicians and a lot of traditional sports and games such as outrigger canoe racing, uh, coconut husking, strongman competitions and, and, other, and other games. It's been absolutely awesome being here in French Polynesia while the Heave has been on. There's such a strong lo local culture which is really comes out in the Heave celebrations and it's really special that we've been able to be part of this occasion. Are you in it? No, but I should be. I'm go this, but these guys are using a different tool. This is the one that will have the souvenir of this Heiva. The fish. In the air. In the air. In the air.
halfway up Bora Bora, more than halfway up. Alyssa doing the final climb. She's loving it. Yeah. No. Oh. The, the things I do for my husband. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome! If there was a zip line all the way to Bloody Mary's from here, would you do it? <laughs> I probably would, yeah. I feel you're standing too close to the edge of that mic. Wow. We're heading down to the southeastern corner of Bora Bora and uh, it's a nice to go past all of these luxury resorts right here we have the four seasons and there is the St Regis I've always wondered where the really nice sand comes from when you go into these nice resorts and they have internal lagoons and now we know you can see these guys over here I can only think of one purpose for what they're doing they've been at it all morning We were just in the Bora Bora Yacht Club, which was very nice, a bit chic. They do good cocktails and great Wi-Fi, some of the best Wi-Fi we've had in months. It's very easy to get addicted to it. Uh, and we were going to spend another night there, but a lot of the boats we know have decided to come around to the other side of Tupua. 
So I think we're doing the right thing. We're trading good cocktails and great Wi-Fi for an idyllic sandy anchorage, which is I guess the whole reason why we're sailing. It still makes it a hard decision sometimes. After three months in French Polynesia, it's finally time to say goodbye. We've had an incredible stay here. It's definitely been one of our favorite countries on our whole trip, but it's time to move on. We've got a lot of places to see before we get home uh, at around October or November this year. So next stop on the list is planned to be Swaro, which is one of the Northern Cook Islands. We're gonna be leaving tomorrow. We've checked out, got our papers from the police station, got some final provisions and diesel and we are ready to go. Very exciting, it's sad to leave. We met some awesome people here, many of which are coming with the journey uh, to Swaro with us. But yeah, time to say goodbye to French Polynesia. I feel better, better.